What's going on everybody? This is Corey with Corey's Computer Repair. Today I have a Dell Alienware X51 R2 and I'm going to show you how to shave almost 11 degrees off the CPU temp just doing a few modifications to the case. So first and foremost I want to show you the temperature in the room. It is 78.3 degrees which is important because I want you to know that it is pretty cool in the room here. So here are the temps of the CPU without me even doing any modifications. I just powered on the machine. The highest temp is core one. We're gonna call it 45 degrees Celsius. And here is the graphics card, the GPU. It's sitting at about 42 degrees Celsius. Both of these are idle temps. So now what I'm gonna do is we wanna open the case to do these modifications. First thing I'm gonna do is just unscrew this screw right here. And while that's being done, I just want to let you guys know the first modification was already done. That was pulling off the CPU heatsink and removing the old dry thermal compound and applying new Arctic um, MX4 compound. There's videos on how to do that for this already for this Alienware system, so I didn't include it in this video. But just know that was the first thing I did, but it really wasn't the drastic difference on what dropped the temps almost 11 degrees Celsius. So. I'm going to go ahead and take the cover off. Now the cover is pulled off towards the front, remember that, not towards the back. And keep in mind there is a small little uh, connector, a wire, so when you take the cover off, uh, the back panel, be very careful not to just pull it up and off, you'll rip the cable. You want to disconnect that connector first. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of lay the uh, panel down and then with two hands there is a white part where you just kind of pull it apart. It's just a little connector. Boom, it's off. I'm going to put that panel to the side. Now I have access to the internals. And what I want to get to specifically is this CPU fan and this plastic black fan shroud. Now the fan shroud has two um, screws, one here, one here. We want to take this off because right now here's the problem. Most of these uh, coolers are supposed to intake air across the fins of the heat sink and which allows the CPU to, to cool down. In this case it's exhausting air. This fan right now is actually pulling air up off of the heat sink and then trying to disperse it to the left out of the case. That's what this fan shroud is for. It's a horrible design if you ask me. Uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to actually reverse the airflow. I'm going to take it from an exhaust to an intake fan. So the first thing I'm doing here, I'm going to take off this fan shroud. I just got Dale and Alienware, always with stuff like this. So the first thing I have to do, there's four clips to take the fan off. You see right here, they're retaining clips. you got to put a little pressure with a little leverage and you kind of pop it pop it off a little bit and pull the fan. Don't do too much or you know you might break the clip. You don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Yes, there's one, two, three, and four locations for the clip. So let's start with the first one here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure and then I'm gonna pull and I can feel the fan loosen just a tad. So I'm just kinda of gonna go around and loosen each one little by little and then I'll pull up at the very end here on all of them. And you gotta be careful with this one. The, one of them is right underneath the power wire. So make sure you don't clip the wire at all when you're doing this. Right now I'm just feeling for the other one. I can't really I don't I can't really tell where they are, I can't really see. So I just kind of get a feel. There we go, that's three. And right now I think that all four of them are off, so I kind of go to pull on it a little bit. Uh, but then I kind of figure out the top one under the one by the wire. You know, it's always that hardest one to get to is still on there. So I gotta go ahead and pop that off, which comes right off. And then you'll see, look at that, the fan's loose. Now look at this, all I'm gonna do is take the label side face down. I'm literally gonna flip it. Just flip it over. 180 degree flip, boom, there you go. So yeah, the label side is going to face down and all you're going to do is line up those little, um, there's little pegs that go into the holes of the fan. You're going to line it up like it was before and you're just going to push down and you're going to feel it snap into place. And now all you've done is turned this exhaust fan into an intake fan. 
I'm going to go ahead and put the shroud back on, but with this computer um, after this video, I decided to leave it off. Now why? Because temps were so good, they were really good, but I also left the side of the case off. Uh, when I show you temps later, the case is on, but for the purposes for this customer, I told them, you know, you don't even need to leave the side of the case on, really, as long as you, you know, blow it out and dust it out every once in a while, it should be fine. But that way, since it's an intake fan now, it has access to fresh air. So now, though, what I'm going to do, for the purposes of a true test, I'm going to reconnect that LED light cable, and I'm going to put the panel back on. There we go. Just going to tighten it up here. Make sure it's flush to the back. And now I'm going to grab that little screw that holds the back panel on and screw it back in. Perfect. Now since everything's reconnected, I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Temperature hasn't changed much. Now it's 78.8 degrees in the room. So that's the air it's sucking in for intake now. Remember, it's an intake fan. So let's take a look at these temps. Already, look at that difference. 34, 35 degrees. Look at that. 10 to 11 degrees drop. Just by making two simple modifications, changing the fan from exhaust to an intake CPU fan and cleaning off the old thermal compound and applying fresh Arctic MX4 compound. Well, I hope this video was useful and thank you for watching.